In the age of penance, the pious zealots of Custodia sought out every imaginative methods to fill their hearts with sorrow and agony. After the manifestation of the first miracle, the path of righteousness was clear. Only a soul that was wrought with supreme suffering could attain supreme absolution. Chrysanta of the rapt agony had a unique penance of her own, as she had forfeited her very sight. His Holiness Escobar had decreed the formation of the Anointed Legion, and Chrysanta would serve as its captain. Escobar himself blessed the crimson bindings of her sword, and ordered that she eradicate the Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow for their heresy. Chrysanta and her legion did their work all too well, and killed every last one of the brothers. Even the penitent one fell to her crimson blade. At some unknown point in time, Chrysanta encountered the exiled visage, also known as the traitor, and obtained the secret fourth holy wound of abnegation. But due to her unique penance, she lacked the literal and figurative ability to see the truth. Her blind faith kept her in the dark, and despite her unmatched faith and fervor, she was incapable of unveiling the true nature of the high wills. Her penance had made her the ultimate subject for the puppet masters to manipulate to ensure their perpetual twilight reign. Her sole purpose was to serve as the antithesis to the penitent one's mission, as her goals were different, opposite, yet complementary to his. Eventually, their paths would cross again, and the penitent one, armed with the apodictic heart of mea culpa, wielded the true form of the sacred sword. With it, the shackles that bound and blinded Chrysanta were severed, and it was then she saw the truth. The Supreme Trinity had to be destroyed, along with the grievous miracle. But first, they had to face off with the crimson guard dog, His Holiness Escobar. Due to the fact that he was responsible for blessing the wrappings on Chrysanta's sword, she was invulnerable to his attacks. Together with her most unlikely ally, they silenced the High Wills and freed the miracle, ending the age of penance once and for all. The rebirth of the miracle would begin a new age in its very own unique set of horrors to bestow upon Custodia. And that's all for this video. Until next time, it's the Inhuman One, signing out.